Welcome, and welcome back to the Hallowed Halls of Magic's Monologue. I'm Magic, your curator of personal growth and the sage keeper of the keys to today's tome of wisdom and knowledge. Today's video, my wife wants to start posting thirst traps and I think it's suspect. But before embarking on an expedition through the vast collections of life lessons and bad choices, demonstrate your eagerness with a thumbs up, subscribe, and smack that bell like a victory bell signaling success to become a patron of wisdom. So stow your baggage of doubts, grab a ticket to success, and let's enjoy the ride together. Thank you, David, for sending this to me. So my wife, 26, recently brought up the fact that she, if she were hot, which is dumb because she already is hot, she would want to post thirst traps on social media. She asked me if I would be okay with it and I just said that I thought that it was a little bit of a red flag. Slap to the back of the head. You thought? You thought? Dude, pull up your pants and by default your nutsack. And the answer is unequivocally no. She kept defending it and asked why I thought it was weird. And I told her... I've heard too many stories about women cheating on their partners that way, and I have seen it firsthand. She continues to say I don't trust her, and I have been responding by saying that I trust her. Slap to the back of the head. I know you were in the moment, so you didn't see what she did there. That, my friend was a massive crap test that you failed. You said, she continues to say, I don't trust her. That is emotional manipulation designed to put you on a defensive for calling her out on what she wants to do. By manipulating you into saying you trust her, it backs you into a logic trap she can then use against you later in the discussion. But it feels weird to bring this up all of a sudden and be especially defensive about it. My brother, trust your instincts. You have them for a reason. But it feels weird to bring this all up all of a sudden and to be especially defensive about it. Plus, we're married. It's suspect to suddenly start posting yourself half naked out of nowhere. I also mentioned that if the roles were reversed, I would be getting flamed. I also mentioned that I felt like I was being manipulated and shamed into pushing down my feelings for what she wanted. She didn't really respond much to any of those things and kept saying that I'm just not confident and thinks that I believe she's a cheater. So, now she's using shaming tactics. Kept saying that I'm just not confident and thinks that I believe she's a cheater. Frankly, I can't help but wonder if she isn't projecting here. To spell out clearly, I have not had any reason not to trust my wife really and i have felt that way for a while but especially with how defensive she is about it it's making me feel like maybe i should question it hello you should absolutely question it pay attention here guys is this the actions of a faithful wife is all her manipulations and actions of a woman who loves her man and the most positive way possible? Absolutely not. Like, in my mind, she knows she has guys following her. Some that she definitely had an interest in or knows are interested in her at one point or another. 
So why leave any signal that suggests you want that kind of attention, especially when you're married and especially out of the blue? Any advice or thoughts? Am I missing something or is what I'm saying rational? Okay, you asked the right question. You said, so why leave any signal that suggests you want that kind of attention, especially when you're married and especially out of the blue? Bro, I'm sorry. However, if she isn't already cheating on you, she wants to set it up so she can put out the I'm available for a better deal sign and field all offers all the while using you as her security blanket. Your wife's need for external validation will cause more problems for you and if not nipped in the bud immediately, it's going to cause the painful end to your marriage. What she is asking for is outright disrespectful of her. And trust me, if she's allowed to disrespect you once, it will only go downhill from there. Stop worrying about her feelings since she is being highly manipulative, telling her you won't accept it, and don't be afraid to show her that you won't think twice about ending it. At this juncture, you need to consider your marriage is in its death throes, and I suggest you do the following. 1. Spend an hour and consult with a divorce attorney so you know the battlefield. 2. Begin the separation of assets as suggested by your lawyer. 3. If it were me, I would take all the computers and tablets to a computer shop and have keylogger spyware installed to see what she's doing and gather evidence in case you do have to divorce her. 4. If the phone plan is in your name, see about getting it installed on her phone too. Of course, ask your lawyer about state laws first. You could buy her the latest phone and have it installed on it before you give it to her as the I love you baby gift. Don't forget to start recording all conversations about this topic and carry a voice recorder and be smart about it. This includes your car if it's registered in your name. And I'm talking about her car if it's registered in your name. If the crap hits the fan and you do have to bail, never let her control the narrative to friends and family. You will need that evidence because they won't believe you when she lies to everyone. Remember, she has been trying to manipulate you, so playing fair is for suckers. Once you've done all this, ask your lawyer for a recommendation for a non-blue-haired, nose-ring-wearing professional. Then tell her you demand marriage counseling. Pay attention to how she responds. If she fights you on it, you've just been told everything you need to know and plan your exit on your terms. Act normal. Do nothing. Control your feelings. Play chess, not checkers. And let her hang herself. In the comments section, guys, let this brother know what you think. Give him support and point out anything I missed. If you found value in this video, please show it by doing three things. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell, and share this with at least two friends who you know need to see and learn from my channel. If you didn't like this video, then I sincerely thank you for watching and suggest you try out a few more and see if you like them. I want your personal stories to share, or if you see an article online you think I should cover, email it, the link just in case, to email at 
stories at magicmonologue.com. This way others can learn from your victories, joys, and defeats as we work to not only support each other, but to help each other become better men. This is the best way to help this channel grow and support me. If you have a moment, stop by my YouTube community tab and vote on my surveys or subscribe to my Rumble, Twitter, Getter, and Gab. In doing so, you are certainly helping to educate other men and have the best revenge by living well. Until next time. Thank you for watching. Before you run off, give these other videos a thumbs up and comment, which really helps me continue to make more content.